Tropical Storm Debbie loses strength. Its slowdown means more rain for parts of Florida and Georgia. Yeah, we knew this was going to happen yesterday when we were watching this thing. So News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar is live in the mobile newsroom in Clay County this morning. You know, Aaron, some people are in the clear today. Others are not as you head to Black Creek. Clay County is one of those areas where people just need to be prepared and aware for flooding in this area from Black Creek. We're on Lazy Acre Road now where we finally have seen some of that flooding. Right now it's pretty moderate, uh, between minor and moderate. Here is what a portion of this looks like on the road right now. This is what we've seen for the first time here in Clay County. The National Weather Service did say that flood stage is at 16 feet of this part of the creek. And right now it's actually at 19 feet as far as uh, the water level. They said for people who live in this area to be prepared and at least continue to monitor the, the levels of the water as it, especially depending on where you live. And if you have to leave your house because of flooding, be prepared to do that. Right now that is not the case. We did confirm with Clay County officials that they already received some calls for flooding and they're going to be doing some damage assessments over the course of this morning and throughout the course of the day as well. But this is just one of the areas that is dealing with some flooding now, one of several areas in Clay County. But not just Clay County is dealing with flooding. Earlier this morning, there's some flooding in Duval County. We're showing you video right now of Edgewood Avenue. That's on Jacksonville's west side. It's about a quarter mile stretch between Broadway Avenue and West Beaver Street that had so much flooding that it had to close down that portion of the road for several hours. That was the case that drivers had to find different ways around. So that was one other local place in Duval County that was experiencing flooding as well. Now, as we come back live to Clay County, we are continuing to follow the water levels here, Black Creek, as we're giving you another live look of the road. And now we're in an area that is not dealing with any flooding right now. So a lot of that is dealing with people in the low lying areas of this part of Clay County where we are. So again, if you're living in any of these areas near Black Creek, you are encouraged and rec it's recommended that you just monitor what the water is looking like where you live and be prepared to take action depending on how much that water rises. We're live in Clay County this morning. I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.